All right, so now we're going to be making this um, scene right here. So you're going to see that this is an outdoor scene and it looks pretty realistic, doesn't it? Um, so what we did was simply we just blocked out the scene. If I just, just a second, let me just get out of my camera um, because I don't want to mess up the scene. Let me just get out of my camera and let me just show you the whole um, scene. So you're going to see that firstly, we blocked out the whole scene and then we added some mega scans assets. And yeah, so we're going to be doing exactly that. Right, so uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be hiding all these mega scans assets first so that I can show you, show you the actual blocking out part. Um, so what I did was I added a cube right here and then I added another cube, I rotated it and I added another one up there and I added one right here and one right there. So we're gonna be doing this from scratch um, in a new scene. So yeah, let's begin with that. Firstly, I'm just gonna go to file, new level and empty level. You can just create a new project if you want, uh, but I'm just gonna be using this project. Right, so firstly, I'm gonna set up the lighting, but before that, let me just press control S and just save the project. I'm just going to be naming it mountain underscore SS, SS for Skillshare. I'll uh, just go to window um, and environment light mixer and create a skylight, atmospheric light zero, create sky atmosphere, volumetric cloud and high fog. We're not going to be creating um, an atmospheric light one because we already do have one and we don't need another one. Right. So um, now I think we're good to go. Uh, let me just add, just save your project, by the way, save all. Uh, let me just add a cube to start off. Right, and I'm going to be increasing the camera speed to three so that we can actually <laughs> actually probably see what's going on. And what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to be I'm going to start to scale it up in the X and the Y axis, something like that, probably. Obviously, this is going to be um, a very subjective thing, and I would actually suggest you to create your own layout, come up with your own layout by using um, Pinterest references from Pinterest or other websites um, or using your own ideas. Right, so something like that should be good. Uh, now, what I'm going to do first is that I'm going to be actually setting up the camera first because I'm going to be uh, modeling the whole scene um, from the perspective of my uh, camera. Um, so I'm just going to be going to cinematic, cine camera actor, and let me just go inside it. Let me just pilot it. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be placing it something like that, probably. Something like that should be good. Actually, I'm just going to be placing it from there so that the sun is actually facing uh, towards that side so we can actually see what's going on. Um, and so first of all, I'm going to be adjusting the sensor width and the sensor height. Uh, I'm just going to be making both of them 20. And the reason why I'm making them the same number is so that we can have a square frame. Uh, you can obviously choose any of these um, presets. Uh, otherwise, if you want, um, if you want to post on Instagram or any other social media, then I would suggest you to use a square format. Um, or if you want to upload it to YouTube, then you can go with the 16 by nine ratio. Um, but 20 seems to be working great for me. And so the focus, I'm going to be disabling this for this um, scene because uh, we don't need to have any depth of field in this. We're just going to be using, um, uh, we're just going to be disabling this. And the focal length, now the focal length, I'm going to be making this 15. Now, the reason why I'm making this 15 is because we want to have a very wide focal length. So we want to give the effect that this is probably shot with um, with a phone camera or something like that. Uh, and yeah, that um, is a really good effect. All right, so now uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be getting out of my camera because our frame is already set up um, and I'm going to be moving out. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be going to a window and in this viewport, I'm going to be creating another viewport by pressing this viewport two button right here. Uh, and what this is going to do is that it's going to add a new viewport. Um, and I don't want to dock it here. What I'm going to do is I want to dock it right next to this outliner. So we can probably like, we can like switch between the outliner and the viewport. And this viewport, instead of perspective, I'm just going to be setting it to cine camera actor. Um, and I'm going to be making it lit. So we can actually see what's going on in our camera uh, simultaneously while um, moving our uh, while being able to move our uh, viewport and being able to add um, objects in our scene. So I'm just going to be scaling it up a little more because you're going to see that it's ending right there and that's not something we want. Something like that should be good. Perfect. Um, and so now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be duplicating this. So I'm going to press, uh, I'm going to hold alt on my keyboard and I'm going to be moving it up. You're going to see that it's going to create a duplicate. Now I'm going to be rotating this something like that. And I'm just move it right here. So now I'm going to be going uh, back and forth between uh, the previous project and the new one. Um, because, uh, because I want to take inspiration from that and, and we're basically trying to copy it, right? Uh, so I'm just going to go back to that. Where is it? This mountain one right here. Just save it. And you're going to see that if I just get rid of all these rocks, you're going to see that we have this um, this cube right here and we have another one on top. So we're going to be adding that right now. And let me just go back to um, my 
other one mountain ss and if i just go to my camera you're gonna see uh cine camera actor you're gonna see that it's looking pretty good let me just move it a little like that and i'm just gonna be pressing alt and moving it up and we can rotate it oops not like that probably something like that yeah let me just move it down a little bit something like that should be a good starting point and now i'm just gonna be duplicating this once again press alt and move it across and i'm gonna be moving it up to create that sort of wall kind of thing or maybe you can move it forward let me see what i did in the original picture save selected um in the original um render i what i did was i added it like that so i'm going to be doing that exact same thing again and let me just scale it up like that so if we were to um, add textures to these and if the textures on these um, cubes were visible, then obviously we would be worried about um, scaling them up uniformly because otherwise the textures would be stretching. Uh, but right now we don't need to worry about that because what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be adding assets on top of all these um, cubes and they're actually not going to be visible. So we don't need to worry about scaling them up uniformly or anything like that. Um, and lastly, I'm just going to be duplicating this one more time, scaling it up, not scaling it up, moving it up and moving it in. Now I'm going to be scaling it down actually in the z-axis, something like that. Let me just move a little closer and I'm going to be moving it up like that. Right, so I think our basic block out is already done and you can see it was pretty easy to do. And But now the fun part is going to start. Now we're going to be adding uh, the Megascans assets. 